8 warning signs that you have low oxygen in your blood. When you are breathing, air enters your lungs and oxygen is transferred into your bloodstream, where it is carried by red blood cells to all parts of your body. Oxygen is a vital gas that is necessary for the proper functioning of your body's organs, tissues, muscles and cells. It plays a critical role in cellular respiration and energy production, which are essential for sustaining life. Without adequate levels of oxygen, the body cannot function properly, and this can lead to a range of health problems. Low blood oxygen levels, if left untreated, can cause long-term damage to vital organs like the heart, liver, and brain. In this video, we will discuss eight warning signs of low blood oxygen levels and provide tips on how to boost oxygen levels for optimal body functioning. Whether you are experiencing shortness of breath, chest pain, or fatigue, we will identify the signs of low oxygen levels and offer helpful solutions to improve your oxygen intake and overall health. But before we dive into the warning signs of low blood oxygen levels, it's important to understand what can cause this condition. Let's take a look at these 10 common reasons why blood oxygen levels may be low. The first of this list is chronic lung diseases like coped, asthma, emphysema, and bronchitis. These are some of the most common causes of low blood oxygen levels. These conditions can make it difficult for the lungs to function properly, which affects the body's ability to get enough oxygen. The number two is sleep apnea. It is a sleep disorder that causes the airway to collapse during sleep, leading to brief periods of breathing cessation. These interruptions in breathing can cause a decrease in blood oxygen levels, particularly during the night. In third place, we have high altitude. At high altitudes, the air pressure is lower and the air has less oxygen, which can cause low blood oxygen levels. This is especially true for people who are not used to high altitudes. Leading us to number four, heart conditions like congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease, and heart attack. These conditions can affect the heart's ability to pump blood effectively, leading to low blood oxygen levels. Number five, nutrient deficiencies. Low levels of vitamin E, B1, D, C, iron, zinc, and B12 can cause anemia or reduce antioxidant capacity. Number six, severe infections like pneumonia, sepsis, and other respiratory infections. These infections can cause inflammation in the lungs, which can result in low blood oxygen levels. Leading up to number seven, smoking. It damages the lungs and reduces their ability to function properly. Number eight is obesity. Excess weight can put pressure on the lungs, making it harder to breathe. Number nine is high sugar intake. Consuming too much sugar can make the blood more acidic. Finally, the number 10 is excessive alcohol consumption. It impairs breathing and reduces blood oxygen levels. It relaxes throat muscles, causing airway obstruction and inflammation in the lungs, making it harder to breathe. Chronic alcohol use worsens lung function and increases respiratory infection risk exacerbating low blood oxygen levels. Now that we have explored the common causes of low blood oxygen levels, let's move on to the main topic of this video, the warning signs. It's important to be aware of these signs so that you can take action if you notice any of them. Please note that all the information provided on this channel is for general educational purposes only and should not be taken as professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or healthcare routine. The first sign of this list is air hunger. Some people even describe it as tightness in the chest. It is also known as dyspnea, which is a sensation of feeling like you cannot get enough air into your lungs, even when you are breathing deeply. This can be a sign of low blood oxygen levels, as the body tries to compensate by taking in more air to increase the amount of oxygen. It's important to note that air hunger can also be caused by other factors, such as anxiety or a respiratory infection, so it's essential to seek medical attention to determine the underlying cause. Sign number two is dizziness and weakness. It can happen when the brain and muscles are not receiving enough oxygen to function properly. When there is a decrease in oxygen levels, 
the body tries to compensate by increasing the heart rate and breathing rate. But if the oxygen levels remain low, the body may start to shut down non-essential functions, leading to feelings of dizziness and weakness. These symptoms can also be caused by other conditions, such as dehydration or low blood sugar. Your healthcare provider may perform tests, such as a pulse oximetry or blood gas analysis, to measure your oxygen levels and diagnose any potential issues. The third sign is a rapid heartbeat. The heart sometimes can beat faster than normal, a condition known as tachycardia. This happens because the body is trying to compensate for the lack of oxygen by increasing the flow of blood to the organs and tissues. An average healthy person typically has a heart rate between 60 to 100 beats per minute, which can be easily counted by placing two fingers on the inside of the wrist and counting. However, if the heart rate is higher than normal while at rest or if you can feel their heart beating rapidly while lying down, it could be an indication of low blood oxygen levels. A fast heart rate can be a serious symptom that should not be ignored. The number four is muscle cramps. It can be caused by various factors, including dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, muscle fatigue, and poor blood circulation. When the body is not receiving enough oxygen, the muscles can start to cramp due to a lack of oxygen and buildup of waste products lactic acid. This can happen when the body is under physical stress, such as during exercise, or due to underlying health conditions that affect blood circulation or oxygen levels in the body. In some cases, muscle cramps can be a symptom of more serious health conditions, such as peripheral artery disease or nerve damage. In the meantime, you can try to reduce your symptoms of muscle cramps by practicing deep breathing exercises, staying hydrated, and avoiding strenuous physical activity. Additionally, stretching and massaging the affected muscles can also help alleviate muscle cramps. But don't worry, we will talk more about how to boost your oxygen levels later in the video. If you're finding this information helpful, it will be greatly appreciated if you could hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more health and nutrition tips. The next sign is heavy legs. When the body is not receiving enough oxygen, it can cause a buildup of lactic acid in the muscles, which can lead to fatigue and a feeling of heaviness in the legs. In addition, a weak heart due to poor fitness can also contribute to this feeling. Vitamin C or E deficiencies can also cause heavy legs. These vitamins are important for healthy blood flow and circulation, which can help reduce the feeling of heaviness in the legs. The sixth sign is brittle nails or nail ridges, also known as onychoschisia, can indicate your health status. Healthy nails have a smooth and pink appearance with fine vertical lines. However, pale nails with a pinkish strip at the top could indicate anemia, a condition that leads to weakened nails that are more prone to breakage. Deep ridges and brittle nails are also signs of nerve damage to the nail bed, which can be caused by low oxygen levels. To improve nail health, consume a balanced diet rich in biotin, iron, and vitamin B12, exercise regularly, and stay hydrated. If you have persistent nail problems, consult a dermatologist who specializes in treating nail and skin disorders. The number seven of this list is cyanosis. It is a condition where the skin or lips take on a bluish color due to inadequate oxygen supply in the body. It can happen suddenly and is typically accompanied by shortness of breath. It's essential to seek prompt medical attention if you experience cyanosis to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. And finally, the last sign of this list is confusion. It can be a sign of low blood oxygen levels in the body, known as hypoxemia. The brain requires oxygen to function correctly, and when it doesn't receive enough, it can cause confusion, disorientation, and other neurological symptoms. If there isn't enough oxygen reaching your brain, you may also feel lethargic, tired, and irritable. Low blood oxygen levels can be caused by various medical conditions, such as respiratory or heart diseases, but other factors can also contribute, such as high altitude or exposure to environmental toxins. In addition, nutritional deficiencies, such as a lack of vitamin B12, 
folate, and especially vitamin B1 thiamine. When the body don't have enough vitamin B1, it could also cause confusion and damage to the nerves and neurons in the brain. This deficiency is often triggered by consuming too much sugar or refined carbohydrates. If you notice any symptoms of this list, it's essential to consult your doctor for a prompt checkup. During the visit, the doctor will measure your blood oxygen levels using an oximeter. Ideally, a normal reading falls within the range of 95 to 100. If the reading is below 92%, it may indicate an hidden health issue. You can also purchase a pulse oximeter for home use, which is a small clip that goes over your finger and is quite affordable. Check out the link below the video for more information. Let's now explore six straightforward lifestyle tips that you can implement to boost your oxygen levels. One, firstly, refined carbohydrates like sugar, soda, and refined grains such as flour, bread, wheat, White rice, pastries and crackers should be avoided as they can deplete your antioxidants and acidify your blood. Number two, instead, choose heme iron rich foods such as lentils, chickpeas and beans, shellfish, seafood, tofu and grass-fed poultry. The third tips is to increase your intake of vitamin E by including foods like almonds, avocados, extra virgin olive oil and spinach in your diet. Additionally, you can take tocotrienol supplements to improve heart function and oxygen levels. Number four, boost circulation and oxygenate your blood by taking at least 30 min walks in areas that have lots of trees and plant life. Number five is to incorporate low glycemic berries like blueberries, strawberries, gooseberries, and acai berries into your daily diet and ensure you drink at least one liter of mineral water each day to hydrate your body and thin your blood for better oxygen exchange. And finally, try abdo diaphragmatic breathing. It involves placing one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest, breathing deeply and slowly to a count of four while keeping your chest still. Exhale slowly to a count of six. This technique can improve lung air distribution and reduce the stress hormone cortisol, promoting relaxation. Take the time to experiment with these techniques and find the one that works best for you. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. We hope you found it informative and useful. Remember, your health is your wealth, and we wish you all the best on your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Like, subscribe, and stay healthy.